We have an outstanding child life department here. They really, really help children be able to cope with procedures and things that as an adult, I would not be able to do. And I look at my seven-year-olds that have a Berlin heart placed and he's sitting and playing video games and running around the hall as if he doesn't have two huge catheters surgically implanted to his chest. Um, a Berlin heart is basically a machine that, um, that goes through your stomach, that goes up to your heart, and then it helps your heart pump. So this is Jason's story. Jason's awesome. Jason was waiting in the hospital for about five months and he got diagnosed with a condition at the end of spring 2010 with a condition called cardiomyopathy. And he pretty quickly went into heart failure. We were just told he had to be put on a heart transplant list because his heart was getting worse. And a Berlin heart is um, a bridge to transplant device that's used here. And it's a mechanical heart that gets placed within the child's body. And for him, it's external, so there's catheters that go in through his chest, and then there's a, an actual little pump that's probably about the size of my hand that's externally. We were in the room with him when the doctor came in and said he had a possible heart, so we were very happy. I was so happy. And then when she told me, okay, it's gonna be a definite, you could tell him now. So when I told him, he was really happy. He started crying. He crossed his little hands together and then he was like, thank you, God, thank you so much. And he just looked up and he was just, he couldn't wait. And it's amazing, the kids have no fear. He apparently went to the OR late that night and was smiling the whole time because he, it was his moment. The time to be afraid was over for him. And he got his new heart and he went back to school in January of last year. And he's like any other seven-year-old causing a ruckus in the classroom. Just being a seven-year-old boy, his favorite activity is gym. He loves his video games. He went to camp this summer, didn't shower for like five days because there was no one there telling him to shower because he got was being a kid. He was being his peers and it didn't matter that he had a new heart. Programs like this require tremendous amounts of subspecialty support in many different departments. Surgery, cardiology, critical care, radiology, interventional cardiology, anesthesiology, and so on. Interdepartmental cooperation is not easy and doesn't come unless the chairman in each of those departments and their leadership all agree that this is the direction the institution wants to go. But when you have the kind of commitment and the kind of follow through that we have here at Montefiore with our administration, you know it's gonna be successful. When I saw that that's what was gonna happen here, I wanted to be a part of it.